But now the purpose of these videos are obviously to help out veterans and build community and even for myself to learn from you guys because you guys share some valuable information as well so if you can please comment share your thoughts experiences um, uh, information that maybe other people don't know or myself uh, and I'm sure many of us would appreciate it but let's get into the video so there's two major benefits and it might be so obvious to a lot of you but for many it's not um, in, in reference to just um, earning more money each month um, and so um, or just to earn some money if you don't have a job uh, but the first benefit I want to get into is the post on the GI Bill uh, you can also do the Montgomery GI Bill but this is my experience and I use the post on the GI Bill uh, post on the GI Bill is basically a benefit that helps you pay for school and also gives you a monthly housing stipend each month um, in a nutshell, right? And so that's basically what I've been using for the last almost uh, basically a year and a half since I've, well, no, um, almost a year since I got out, right? Which was in January of last year or of this year. And so what it basically helps, what, what it does is pays for your school and gives you a monthly housing stipend. Um, the actual real uh, uh, name for it is the monthly housing allowance. <clears throat> in my experience, so here's what I'm doing. I'm going to school. Um, I got out in January. I started school in March. Um, began going to a school that does a quarterly system, right? So that's why I was able to start in March. And what that basically means is that uh, you have classes every eight weeks, right? And they kind of break it out that way. Um, and so um, when I started doing that, I started supplementing my income. Now, the way to start that, um, uh, I won't spend too much time into it, but basically you go into your VA.gov. You, um, well, first of all, you enroll in your school, you apply to your school, and then you get the school certified through your VA.gov, which is easy. You just go onto your VA.gov and then and apply for your post 9-11 GI Bill benefit. And then you have to get your VA certification. Then you get that VA certification letter to your school, and then your school will start, you know, applying your VA benefits uh, to your classes. So you don't have to pay for your classes, right? When you start your school, the VA benefit, the VA and then the school and will work together, and then you'll start earning your, um, you know, in conjunction with your school being paid for, you'll also receive your monthly housing payments, your month, your MHA, and you could easily look that up. There's an MHA calculator that you can pull up on the VA website, you, or you can just Google MHA uh, rates, whatever current year it is, 2023, 2024, and look for the school that you're um, enrolled in or enrolling in and look at what their uh, MHA rates. For me, I go to school in San Diego County, therefore I receive the E5, and keep in mind, if you are taking one class in person, at least one class in person, and you can take the rest of the classes online during that semester or during that quarter rather, then you qualify for the full rate. And so here in Sacramento County, it's $3,792 $3, for going to school each month, uh, which is, sounds crazy, right? Um, but it's $3,792. Um, and keep in mind, that's E5 with dependents rate. Uh, uh, E5 with dependents <clears throat> and that obviously that number is going to vary depending on where you live obviously San Diego County is a high cost of living area um, if you're familiar and so that's why the MHA is so high in comparison to some other places uh, but even if it's just $1,500 or $1,000 I mean that's a that's $1,000 more than you didn't have before and that could really help you out right especially if you just started your degree and you have 36 months more of school to take that's 36 months of you receiving extra income now keep in mind with the GI Bill the MHA the monthly housing allowance only pays you a prorated rate each month and what that basically means is out of a 30 day month how many days did you go to school they're gonna pay you based on those actual days of attending school so if, you know let's just say it's Christmas time and it's December um, I'll only receive you know and say the school the, the the term ends on the 15th 
then I would only receive B, uh, I'm sorry, not PH, military mind, uh, monthly housing allowance from the 1st through the 15th. And so I would take that $3,792 divided by 30 and then multiply it by, you know, 15 days or whatever. And so I'll take that and that would be my payment for December. Now, obviously, who can live on, you know, whatever that is, a little bit over a thousand bucks each month? Most people can't unless you you know, live with your parents or something or you don't pay have a lot of bills. And so what else can you do to supplement your income? I forgot to touch on one thing. Also, you have the Yellow Ribbon Program. The Yellow Ribbon Program um, is another financial aid that the uh, VA provides and schools provide that are, you know, are veteran friendly and basically will allow you to supplement your tuition costs and all that stuff. And so you actually will, you may be entitled to certain reimbursements during the year incrementally for like school, uh, I'm sorry, for like books and stuff. And that's a nice little, you know, uh, gift each quarter or so because you know it, it could be up to like three four hundred dollars sometimes depending on you know your situation um so obviously getting back to like the prorated thing obviously you can't necessarily live off of a little over a thousand bucks each month um, in school so what else do you do right obviously the the clear answer would be like oh then you just get a part-time job right and something income but sometimes look let's face it some vets don't want to do that. They got out because they don't want to just work a regular job or they just whatever. Or maybe you're a business owner or your business is just getting off the ground and you just need to supplement your income other ways without actually spending too much time on another job. And so what um, I did and what I'm currently doing is I'm going to school, full, uh, school year round, right? So basically I don't take breaks. <laughs> Uh, which kind of which might sound crazy but you know what if you're uh, taking at least two classes in a quarterly system so that's every eight weeks and you take one class in person one class online and you're doing that every eight weeks it's not that hard and especially if you're getting paid the full MHA rate I mean it's better than working a full-time job that pays you just as much if not less um, and so take that as you may <laughs> um, so I, I attend school during the summer you know June July and that allows me to you know earn uh, an additional tax-free income and there's a big uh, note there this income is tax-free right because it's not considered income it's it's a uh, it's a it's a benefit and so it allows you to take that year-round June July all the way through and, but obviously, some, for some people, that just might not be enough. Let's say you live in San Diego County and you make that $3,792. You know, a lot of people can't just live off $3,792. You know, uh, unfortunately, I can't. <laughs> so um, if you can, all the power to you. Um, I, just, I just can't do rice and beans and stuff, um, as the great Dave Ramsey uh, preaches. Um, so what, do I, what else do I do to supplement my income? I mean, disclaimer, I also have another... Uh, uh, job, right? And so, but other than that, um, I receive v VA disability. Um, VA disability, um, as I mentioned in prior videos, if you haven't watched already, it's something that a lot of veterans are not taking advantage of. But that plus your G your GI Bill income, you know, and let's say thirty six months, man, thirty six months of going to school. Um, that's 36 months of, rece of receiving income each month. Plus, if you take your VA disability, that's additional income. So now let's say you live in San Diego County. You have your $3,792 given that you have prorated months. <clears throat> but you have that $3,792 coming each month. Now let's say you got, you know, rated only 30%. And you're receiving and you have no dependents and such forth and so forth. This is just an example. That's 500 and whatever, how many dollars? It's about 500 dollars. Now you have 500 dollars plus that, you know, 3,000 something. You know, you have a little four grand coming coming in each month, given you know, obviously what I said earlier about the whole prorated months. Now that's 30 percent. That's pretty minimal. Uh, a lot of veterans I know well receive, you know, 60, 70 percent, right, on average, I think, and so that can go up to almost, you know. 
seventeen, eighteen hundred dollars, you know, depending on your fancy stats and all that. So I mean, that's seventeen, eighteen hundred dollars plus how much re you're receiving for your your GI bill each month, your your monthly housing allowance. I mean, do the math. Um, that's a pretty darn good support system for you as you make that transition out of the military. Now, obviously, one day that that MHA is going to run up. You're not going to be able to go to school anymore. Maybe you graduated, but good news, you graduated. Or good news, you have an education, even if you didn't graduate. It should be a lot easier for you to market yourself to get a great job or start your own business and, and see how things pop off. But um, this should you should be treating this as a bridge between where you want where you are and where you want to get to um, at least you know f fund your your endeavors in the meantime um, I just see a lot of veterans not take advantage of these two of these two benefits and I just think that if the more p vets took advantage of this we'd have less you know that's you know on you know I, I see a lot of times on reddit and stuff like that veterans talking about you know a lot of financial struggles and sometimes they're just not taking advantage of these benefits uh, obviously there's going to be so many different reasons as to why veterans struggle and i'm very aware of that and i'm very empathetic and, and sympathetic to that but there's many of them just not taking advantage of these benefits and i think that they should um so without beating around the bush too much VA benefits, VA benefits, your, po your GI Bill, taking advantage of it, dang it, and your disability, get what you deserve, make the money that you should be making, supplement your income, hell, even if you have a great paying job already, if you're not taking advantage of those of those two things, and 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 capitalizing on the fact that you earn those benefits and you earn that money, please do it. If you know any other veterans that could, you know benefit from it share this video with them or just share this information with them and let's build this community and let's help as many veterans as we can possibly all right see you guys later peace